The women's 53, Dara Torres, the American record holder. Two-time Olympian Carolyn Joyce is in lane two, not on the team yet. Dara in lane three. Below her is Jessica Hardy, who we expect to win this final in lane four. Here comes Hardy to the wall. Can Dara Torres get in second? No. Carolyn Joyce up there in lane two a second. Dara was fourth. And Christine Magnuson was third. Carolyn Joyce makes her third Olympic team. As an Olympic swimmer, I was expected to perform at my absolute best under the most intense of circumstances. And I can compare that to maybe studying for the boards and taking you know, a big exam or presenting at you know, a major presentation at your, at your company. Um, when you're presented with these moments that can change the course of your life, change the direction of your life, how do you do your absolute best, perform at your absolute best when everything is riding on it? My event's not until the last day, day seven. So, 14 year old kid, I get myself ready to swim. I'm warmed up, cap and goggles on, ready to go. And I see all of these fast people. I mean, people that have been swimming at this meet for the previous six days and already made the Olympics. People that have world records. People that I watched on TV and idolized. And they're just walking around on deck like normal people. And I didn't feel like I belonged there. I got myself so worked up. And finally, my coach comes over to me a couple minutes before I'm supposed to swim. And she's like, okay, Kara, you look a little bit green in the face. Um, I know you're nervous, but just try to calm yourself. Slow, deep breaths. You know, you belong here just as much as everyone else. You've earned your spot to be here. All you have to do is swim your one race, one lap. You love the 50 free. Go out there and give it your best. And I took some slow, deep breaths. It really did calm me. And I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. So I get on the blocks. And I dive in, and I'm off down the pool, kicking and pulling as hard as I possibly can. And I touch the wall, and I look up at the clock, and I'm in total disbelief. Out of 76 women in the 50 freestyle, 76 swimmers, I got 75th. <laughs> I was devastated. <laughs> so I sit down next to my hero, Summer Sanders. And she puts her arm around me. She's like, Kara, you should be proud. You're at Olympic trials. That's a big deal. Don't worry about not making the Olympics. And she said that at her first Olympic trials when she was 15, she didn't make the Olympics either. She got third. I got 75th. But it's all the same. <laughs> Neither of us made the Olympics. She was like, you go home and you work hard for four years. You come back. You're going to be taller. You're going to be stronger. You're going to be faster. That's going to be your time. I showed up to Olympic trials in 2012, and I was not a favorite by any means to qualify for the Olympics. Um, I somehow managed on day seven, on the last day, on the last night, in the last event, to get a spot in finals. And even though I'm in the top eight in finals, no one was expecting me to make it. And something that I think a lot of people don't know about um, big sporting events, like the Olympics, especially swimming, I, I don't know if diving is the same, but Right before you march out, it's what you see on TV when people come out and they step up behind their blocks. Right before you march out, you have to sit in a ready room in this area where they convene. They put all eight competitors in this small, it's kind of a dark room for like 10 to 15 minutes. So I'm sitting in this ready room. Okay, I got 10 to 15 minutes with these crazy people. What am I going to do? What am I going to think about? And the first thing that I start thinking about is the challenges that I faced over the last four years, the coaching changes, the back injury, the you know, coaches that didn't have my best interests that I had trusted. And it starts upsetting me. I start to get kind of angry. I'm like, wait a minute, why am I thinking about this? I've been swimming for 21 years. I know that the best thing to get myself ready to perform, when I'm asking my body the biggest favor I can ask it, the best thing I can do is positive self-talk. I know that if I believe in myself, then this can be possible. If everyone in the world believes in me and I don't believe in it, it's not gonna happen. So I start to think about, gosh, how did I, how did I even get here? Why, why am I here? 
and I have these images in my head of me being seven years old, sitting on the bed with my mom, watching the 1992 Olympics, and I'm telling her that someday I'm going to be an Olympic swimmer. And I have this image of me in fifth grade standing with a giant poster board telling my whole class that when I grow up, I'm going to be an Olympic swimmer. And I have this image in my head of me getting out of bed at 5 o'clock in the morning to jump into an ice cold pool and pushing my body harder than I ever thought I possibly could with my lungs and muscles burning because I want to be an Olympic swimmer. And all these great thoughts flood my memory. And I'm like, that's why I'm here. I'm sitting here because that seven-year-old girl had a dream to be here someday. And you know what? Whatever happens when I go out there, it's okay. If I get third, if I get fourth, which is probably the most likely situ situation, I'm gonna be okay with that because I know right now I'm prepared to give it my best effort. And that's really all I can do. So I walk out behind the blocks, and I've never been so relaxed before a race, especially a race like Olympic trials. And I'm kind of shaking my arms, and there's people walking all around me, and I have this smile on my face. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just in the 53. I've done this a thousand times. I've won many races. That race, I didn't get first place. I didn't go best time. That wasn't even my best time. I didn't break any record, but I knew in that moment that that was everything that I was capable of giving. And that definitely goes down as my favorite race of all time. So it still makes me, makes me smile when I watch that.